Hey, it's Buddy Lee. Welcome to my channel. In this video, we're going to be looking at one of the reasons that Silver Surfer is underrated by taking him on an energy adoption path. The reason he's good for anything like this where you'll either have Cold Snap, Shock, or Incinerate debuffs is because of the line here and his abilities. Surfer takes minus 100% damage from Cold Snap, Incinerate, and Shock debuffs, so you'll be healing from willpower and not taking any damage. But then it says each stack of those debuffs counts as a unique buff for Surfer's abilities. What this is going to do is ramp up his energy damage to a super high level, so let's check that out. So we're in 7.2.3 here, and this path has energy, adoption, ice, and lightning. So we're going to get a ton of debuffs and be able to use them for extra damage, and also be healing a ton the whole time. I always like to start out by phasing with heavy and activating the power gain buff. Then you can either use SP1 on Fury to activate two of them, or just activate them all one at a time using heavy phasing. We have a bunch of shock debuffs and it's giving us 4500 energy damage per hit, which is nice, but the SP2 is where the damage really shines. The normal full ramp up, you would go to SP3 and then get the aptitude buff to boost all of the other buffs, but we don't need that here since it would be overkill. Here is the SP2 and we're getting 14 to 16k energy damage per hit for a really spicy SP2. That was 43 hits for a 400k health pool and no real ramp up either. As I start this next fight, watch the energy damage ramp up as I'm landing hits and stacking debuffs on myself. Surfer is taking these fights down really fast and the regen is keeping him topped up too. We hit 7k energy damage from basics here at the end of this fight.
I haven't said much in a minute, but these fights are going so quickly. We're on to the last fight of the path in only 5 minutes. This SP2 was the biggest one, and we're hitting 25k energy damage in these SP2 hits. So that does it for the energy adoption path, but we'll go ahead and fight the Punisher 2099 boss since it's a good opportunity for a surfer to use his miss for missing attacks rather than just activating buffs. This Punisher 2099 throws a ton of specials which do a lot of block damage, so let's see what we can do to avoid that. Not sure what happened here, I think I was trying to throw a light and ended my combo with a medium, so whoops. Alright, now we're going to use that heavy phase to avoid 2099's SP2 beams, and then we can dex the grenade. So that went pretty well for never attempting such a thing with Surfer, besides my own mistakes. Well that's going to do it for this video. If you liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.